Here in Israel, we have faced a wave of terrorism in recent days with four terror attacks in 10 days. In Beersheba, four Israelis were murdered. In Khedera, two Israelis were shot and more were injured. Yet even in these difficult days, we see that there's not only potential for change, for a better way, but there's actually change that's already happening. Yes, we all hear about the negative headlines, but what we don't hear is how many from my community, the Israeli Arab community, are speaking out against terrorism. For example, it is true that the terrorist who committed the act of terrorism in Khedera was an Arab. But it is also true that one of the victims was from the Arab community and that the head doctor who treated the victims was Arab as well. We cannot let the acts of an extremist few define our relation between Israeli Arabs and Israeli Jews, and we won't. Looking beyond just Israel, this week Israelis and the world saw a glimpse of a shared future between Arabs and Jews in the entire region, a historic event in which the foreign ministers of Morocco, UAE, Bahrain, Egypt, and the US joined Foreign Minister Yair Lapid in the Negev summit. In this event, we saw the Arab world unite with Israel, and not just in shared instances such as a dealing with the Iranian threats, but in shared values as well. When Israelis faced terrorism during this summit, the foreign ministry from these countries that just a few years ago had no diplomatic relation with Israel condemned the violence. Even more moving, the UAE foreign minister spoke poignantly about how the best way to fight this extremism is by affirming and expanding our commitment to people-to-people -to -people peace. It is by continuing to know and understand each other better that we can defeat this hate. Within Israeli society, the story is the same. We are one people, one nation, Jews, Arab, Muslims, Druze, Christians. Each of us belongs here and by knowing each other better, our future and our society is strengthened. The Abraham Accords proves what we in Israel have already seen happening, that the future of the Middle East and Israel is one of shared values and interests for both Arabs and Jews. Indeed.